I'm going to show you how to mount the, uh, the Bulldog on a half inch solder valve today. Using the, uh, the HC2S mounting kit. But before I do that, I just wanted to talk about uh, the installation in general and the different mounting options. So the Bulldog, the standard mounting kit includes these two brackets, which is the HC2L for half inch and one inch valve and the HC2XL for various one inch and up to 1.5 inch valves. So basically the standard kit uh, covers most valves. A typical home will have a three quarter or one, or one form or another of a one inch valve. It's unusual to have a, uh, a half inch valve, although there are some, and it's unusual to have larger than a one inch valve. This is a one and a quarter, and uh, we actually all go all the way up to two inch. That's a very large valve. The standard bracket will work up to one and a half inch soldered, but if you get to one and a half inch uh, threaded like this is here then you have to go with the XXL uh, mounting kit and th then we have special mounting kits for one and a half inch threaded um, and uh, two inch soldered and two inch threaded this is a two inch threaded here and we also the standard mounting kit actually works for some specialized valve this is a specialized high pressure valve uh, you know it works on that as well I'm just gonna mount it on here and show you how it uh, works Alright, so make sure you line it up even. Alright, check that the stroke doesn't hit the valve here. Let me open and close it, which it doesn't. Now let's attach the motor assembly. Center of the pivot points. These pivot points are centered. All right, well, that looks pretty good. We need to add the uh, pins. Push and tighten the pins tight against the valve handle. All right, double. Check the pivot points are centered and everything looks good. Let's plug it in for a test stroke. All right. That looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, reverse it. So you can turn it off if there's a leak alert. So this is set up for a leak. Let's see if that turns it off. All right, so it turns off with a leak. And you can reset the alarm by pressing the speaker button here and then turn it back on. And you can also use the emergency stop wanted to turn it off and various other methods. I could use my phone with the app. I could set it up with other automation. Anyway, that's it.